Well, 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 guys. Let us see what is the next thing that Blender has to offer. Before starting anything, let us rest in peace this cube. After that, go to Add, go to Mesh, and go to Extras, and go to Wall Factory. This is actually one of the most wonderful things that Blender developers have provided us. So I will click here, and then we get a wall with bricks and an opening. And if we go into this option. you get a lot of parameters you can start the wall how long you want the wall to be you can affect the end of the wall you can affect the bottom of the wall or the top of the wall or even the edging how wide you want the gaps to be so let me right click reset to default right click reset to default right click reset to default or you can also do one thing that you can keep your mouse over this parameter and just hit backspace it affects somewhere it affects over here backspace it doesn't affects currently in here blender developers might be working on that thing then we have the next option as merge block what this does is it will merge the blocks let me show you what happens it's affecting the merging of this block if i change the width it's affecting how wide one brick is going to be let me zoom in and show you how wide one brick is going to be this is a very wide brick and if i reduce the width this is a very narrow brick you can change the variance between the width and minimum width this changes the randomness of the blocks you can change the height of the blocks how high you want the blocks to be you can change the minimum parameter of the width of the block but make sure that you don't disturb the opening of this wall if that's what you want you can do it as well so let us right click reset to default reset to default reset to default and reset to default reset to default reset to default you can change the depth the thickness of this wall by using the depth how thin or thick you want the wall to be you can change the minimum and maximum variance so it will be thick somewhere and thin somewhere if i keep it like this you can see that the wall here is thick here it is thin if i increase this minimum and if we change the variance now you can see that this wall is thick somewhere and thin somewhere so right click let me right click reset to default reset to default reset to default this is about merging the blocks let us see grout grout means for those people who don't know what is grout this gap between the bricks is called as grout you can change the thickness of the grout it will be more and this wall will fall down let us reduce this grout thickness variance you can change the thickness and if you change the variance at some point it will be closer and at some point it will be the gap will be larger so let us reduce this to default values reset default values reset to default and reset to default wall shape do you want it to be radial or curved if i tick on radial it is going to be a radial wall a round wall and if i tap curve it is going to be a curved wall like an igloo and if i tick off this radial it's going to be like this a curved wall so those are the options given by blender developers next we have openings how wide you want the openings to be how high you want the openings to be 
what would be its indent where it is going to be on the wall where is its bottom going to start from and how beveled the wall should be this is how you can change if i keep it here i can show you what the bevel parameter does if i change the bevel you can see it has gone to the error let me reset it to default values reset to default reset to default reset to default along with that along with that if i tick off this curve let us see what is the next thing that blender developers has to offer uh, let me keep it somewhere like this top arch if i change the curve you can change the opening of this wall window you can change the thickness of this opening this this portion top arch if you want it arch or a uh, if you don't want the arch or if you want the arch you can tick this off then we have got a bottom arch let me increase the bottom so that i can show you what this bottom arch does it is an arch from the bottom of this window you can increase or decrease the curve you can increase or decrease the thickness let me reduce the thickness a little bit then we have got slots slots means the small openings between large openings if you want you can change the position if you want you can change the opening size of this slots and if you want you can repeat it let me go to kernel kernel is going to provide this openings how wide you want this opening to be and how high you want this opening to be so these are kernels shelf shelf is something like this you want if you want you can change the left side indent you can change the bottom side indent you can change the width of this shelf height of this shelf how high you want this shelf to be and even change the depth of this shelf so let us tick this off if you want you can also put it on the back side if i tick it it is going to be on the back side of the wall so let's tick it off tick off the shelf and uh, then we have steps if you want you can put steps at the bottom of the wall you can change the left margin of this stairs bottom margins of this stairs height of the stairs width of the stairs you can change the height of the stairs as well and then you can change the depth of this stairs let me put it at the bottom somewhere like that would be great and then i can change the riser for those people who don't know what is riser this height of one step is called as riser and we can change the height of one step and then there is called one thing as tread you can change the width of one step so these are called tread changing the width of the steps is called tread and if you want you can change the direction you can uh, reverse the direction if you want you can only keep steps if you want you can keep it on the back side of the wall let me reduce uh, remove this steps as well and then you got location as to x y and z so that's it for this guys if you like this video hit the like button hit the subscribe button and if you want to support me wholeheartedly you can go on the patreon page links will be given in the description with that being said and done if you want to wholeheartedly support me patreon page is one of the best option to support me financially with that being said and done try to see it learn it understand it i will see you in the next video one more thing guys if you want to get a complete information about how things in the blender works i am taking online classes links will be given in the description there will be a phone number 
through which you can contact me so that's it if you want a complete comprehensive class on blender you can contact me feel free to contact me